This is Dave with DRH Acrylic Creations. Our pillow paint tonight is Glidden Essentials in eggshell, and our pore medium is Vespar Ultra and Verathane Polyurethane Triple Thick at a 3 to 1 ratio. Our paints are Frost, that's a Color Art Prism paint. The second one is Northern Lights, also Color Art Prism. Our third is a Joe Sonia color, and that's Prussian Blue. And our last, that's TLP Velvet. This is a blue interference color. It looks white here, but it will dry blue. Our cell excavators are Titanium White by Amsterdam and Indigo by Matisse. And these are mixed uh, in a 4 to 1 ratio with Australian Floetrol. We're going to be painting on a board I got it, the at the Dollar Tree, and this obviously is a star. Very thin, so there's a high likelihood it might uh, warp. Uh, as a gift to me, I got some boom gels. I'm going to be adding these tonight. Uh, I think that first one was black. This second one is uh, pearlesque uh, white. And the last one is going to be pearlesque metallic gold. I think that uh, there was a wagtail black. My pillow paint again, that's Glitten Essentials and Eggshell. I'm going to start in the middle, lay a small petal, and then move it out to the size on each one of the rays. Uh, I'm actually putting probably too much paint down, but we'll see in a bit. Okay, I'm going to pick up a uh, my swiping tool and spread this out a little bit. My first color down is Prussian Blue. This is a Josonia color uh, product, and it's a very dark blue. Not quite as dark as one of my, my indigo that I'm using as part of my swipe, but it's still pretty dark, and I was looking for a dark background, so that's why I chose it. Our next color down is Wagtail Black. This is a boom gel. It's my first time using the boom gel, so I'm... It's a first experience. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I know the reputation. Next color down is Northern Lights. This is the Color Art uh, Pr uh, Prism Collection. Our next color is Frost, and this is also one of the color art prisms, uh, and it's got a really very nice shimmer to it. Next color down is Pearlescent White, another bone gel, and uh, I'm really anxious to see how this comes out. Okay, I'm going to layer the back of my swiping tool with my cell activator. That's the Titanium White mixed with four parts of Australian Foltra. I'm going to get as much coverage on the back of that tool as I can. Uh, decided I wasn't getting as much as I'd like, so I picked up my spoon and spread it around just a little bit more out to the edges. Next up is my indigo. Uh, this is a Mati Matisse color, and I'm not going to be too much. It's just enough because every everything on the, the palette right now is pretty dark. So it's just more or less to give me some highlights. This is the uh, Velvet, TLP Velvet, interference color. I'm going to put that down in a liberal amount because I want that interference color to really pop through. Lots of shine with that color. And finally, it's the Boom Gel uh, Metallic Gold. Just going to put a line on the back of that. Okay, it's time to swipe. Flip this over, and hopefully I can get two rays out of this. There's quite a bit of cell activator there, and I'm seeing that it is. There you go, the second one. 
I'm seeing already that it's, it, it is per, uh, it's selling up very nicely. Never seen quite that much selling happen so much immediately. I'll load up the back of the, the tool again and give a swipe across that those two rays that I have left. Again, just titanium white. It's going to be the same odor uh, with the uh, indigo. Uh, this Matisse indigo is really... I love the way this it works. And it just... Everything I've used in it has been absolutely beyond my expectations. Here comes the velvet. And finally, the Boom Gel Metallic Gold. Okay. I'm looking at the coverage and seeing if there's anything I'd like to, to do or enhance on this. And so I picked up my uh, smaller swiping tool and started to... Just play with it. See if I can get more coverage, get more paint out so that it's less spinning. And loading up the back of my tool. See if I can get some cells popping in some of the places that have just the uh, uh, pression blue there. Do a little bit of a swipe here. See if I can get some cells to open up. Looking around to see what else could I could, I can do to enhance this. I'm loading up the back of my tool and see what I can do to add some more cells to some of the parts that have either no color or limited amount of color. Okay, I'm going to pick up some of the paint and drag it out. And I'm seeing the I'm seeing the white section up there. It has some of the uh, interference, the velvet, the interference blue. But I think I'd like to add a little something, something there, uh, more than what the, what's there. So I'm loading up the 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 knife, my swiping tool, and see if I can move it along. If I'm not remembering right, this is where I actually applied it to the wrong side of my swiping tool. Oops. But it turns out okay. I think I'm going to pick up a skewer and do some modification here just to create some interest and get some movement. I don't do a lot, just a little bit. Where I'm doing, it's not entirely sure that it's even going to show up because once I spin this, a lot of what I have on the edges is going to disappear. It's going to be spun off. I think it's ready to spin. And a couple of reasons I spin. Now, this is not a very fast spin, so I'm going to let it go for a little while. And the purpose of spinning is to open up cells and also to move some of the paint, excess paint, off of the uh, off of the surface. The um, I notice I also spin both directions as I find that it, it helps my cells not get off center or wonky.
Okay. Looking at this, and I'm thinking, ah, I think we're about done. There wasn't much movement, and so I'm going to pick this up, eventually. There we go. Pick this up, give you a real close look, and then I'll bring you down for a uh, flyover. I am really loving the cells that came in here, and it looks like the bloom gel is every, everything everyone says. So uh, it works very well with the... Uh, cell activator and creates lots and lots of interest. If you've enjoyed today's video, I'd invite you to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. I want to wish you a very happy holidays, and I hope to see you in the new year. Thanks for coming along. Bye now.